Hello, and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once-a-day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is number 918, the category, Classic Comedic Television. Today's quiz was sent in by Kathy Kay. She has sent in other ones. I really appreciate you sending this in. This is a great category. If you like sitcoms from basically the last 50 years, you'll love this quiz. It's a 20-question trivia quiz with a question 21 tiebreaker at the very end. Good luck! Question 1. First airing in 1951, what was the name of the TV comedy about a band leader and his dizzy, untalented wife who is always getting herself and her landlady best friend into trouble? That was the first major TV program to depict a pregnant woman throughout her pregnancy. The answer is, I love Lucy. Question number two. The cornet of a novice sister in a Puerto Rican convent aids Sister Betrayal, played by Sally Field, and her unwilling benefactor, Carlos Ramirez, played by Alejandro Rey, help the people of the surrounding villages. Whether they want help or not, in what TV comedy that ran from 1967 through 1970? That was called The Flying Nun. Question number three, a British classic that also made it big in America. What late 1970s show starred John Cleese, who also co-wrote the series with Connie Booth, The Maid, is about a short-tempered, inept hotel keeper who tries to make the best out of the chaos and strange characters who work in and frequent his hotel. That show was called Faulty Towers. Question number four. A primetime parody of the daytime soap operas from the period from 1977 to 81, the Tates and the Campbells battle all the issues of their daytime counterparts, including murder, diseases, demonic possession, and alien abduction. Billy Crystal got his start on what ABC sitcom? That show was simply called Soap. Question number five, starring Jackie Gleason as Ralph Cramden and Art Carney as Ed Norton. This comedy ran from 1955 to 1956. What show about a New York City bus driver, his best friend a sewer worker, and their long-suffering wives Alice and Trixie who come up with some harebrained schemes to improve their lot in life? That show was called The Honeymooners. Question number six, following the misadventures of a PT boat crew during World War II, this show ran from 1962 through 1966 and moved from the Pacific to the Mediterranean in its last season. Ernest Borgnine, who actually served in the military during World War II, played the lead character in what 1960s sitcom? That show was called McHale's Navy. Question number seven, a spin-off of the Andy Griffith Show. This bumbling young man from Mayberry, North Carolina joins the Marine Corps in what show that ran from 1964 to 69 and takes place mostly in Camp Henderson in California, where this naive, innocent man not only survives, but thrives in the military. The answer is Gomer Pyle, USMC. Question number eight. Running from 1967 to 73, this comedy variety show featured skits and one-liners by the cast that included Ruth Boozy, Art Johnson, Henry Gibson, and Goldie Hawn. Skits from what show included Here Come the Judge with Sammy Davis Jr. and Sock It To Me with Judy Karn?
That show was called The Laugh-In, or Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In. Question number nine. Harvey Corman, Lyle Wagner, Vicki Lawrence, and Tim Conway backed up the comedian for 11 years, and Bob Mackey designed about 25 costumes per weekly episode. The most famous skit of what show was the takeoff of Gone with the Wind with a green velvet curtain rod costume for Miss Scarlet. That show was The Carol Burnett Show. Question 10. This show was originally produced in England as a father and son rag and bone business starring Wilfred Bramble and Harry Corbett, running from 1962 to 65. What was the name of the show remade in America as a Los Angeles junkyard father and son starring Red Fox and Demond Wilson? In America, it was called Sanford and Son. Question number 11. Another Navy-themed comedy starring Don Rickles as Chief Petty Officer who was in charge of Recruit Company 144 in San Diego. Through his insults and sarcastic manner, you can see how he truly cares for his men and how he often goes above and beyond to help them. In what show? That show was called CPO Sharky. Question number 12. Originally a door-to-door -door cosmetic saleswoman, this character is erroneously hired to help rear the children of a Broadway producer. Starring Fran Drescher, who also co-wrote the series, as the title character, what classic comedic TV show ran from 1993 to 1999? The answer is The Nanny. Question 13. In a Boston bar where everyone knows your name, Sam, a former Red Sox pitcher, and his staff serve their regular customers, Norm Peterson, Dr. Fraser Crane, and Cliff Clavin with comic advice from 1982 to 1993. Ted Danson, Rhea Perlman, and Woody Harrelson starred in what show? That show was called Cheers. Question 14. When you say the name Archie Bunker, you immediately think of this bigoted character whose views are diametrically opposed to everyone around him. Running from 1971 to 1979, Archie, Edith, Gloria, and Meathead discuss the problems of the day in a comic yet poignant way on what show? The answer is All in the Family. Question 15. Starring Sherman Helmsley and Isabel Sanford, this sitcom was a spin-off of All in the Family. Originally Neighbors of the Bunkers, what was the last name of the affluent African-American title company that move up to the east side of New York City with a new group of friends and funny situations? Their name and the show was The Jeffersons. Question 16. Set in Stalag 13 during World War II, this sitcom recounts the exploits of a group of prisoners of war who specialize in escapes for the other prisoners and espionage against the Nazis. General Burkhalter and Colonel Klink Major Hochstetter are continually outwitted by these allies in what classic TV show? The answer is Hogan's Heroes. Question 17. A bumbling extraterrestrial comes to Earth in an egg to study the strange habits of Earthlings. 
Robin Williams plays the alien, originally a Happy Days character, that ends each episode of What Show with him reporting back to his superiors about what he's learned from humans. That show was called Mork and Mindy. Question 18. This After Hours judicial sitcom starred Harry Anderson, John Larroquette, Marky Post, and Charles Robinson and ran from 1984 to 1992. The unorthodox judge and his crew work evenings to dispense justice in New York City on what American television sitcom? That show was called Night Court. Question 19. Following the antics of four older women who lived together in Miami Beach, Florida, what show started in 1985 and ran through 1992 and featured Blanche, Rose, Dorothy, and Sophia and proved that women from different backgrounds can love, laugh, and get along later in life? That show was called The Golden Girls. And question 20. The first sitcom set in an East Los Angeles barrio, cranky old Ed Brown, who was played by Jack Albertson, owns a rundown garage when an optimistic 20-something Mexican-American played by Freddie Prince comes looking for a job on what 1970s TV show? That show was called Chico and the Man. Alright, that is it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode of Road Trippia, and thank you again, Kathy Kay, for sending in classic comedic television. What a great episode. I recognized a lot of these. I haven't seen a lot of these shows, and I was incorrect at the beginning of the episode when I said uh, they went back the last 50 years, because I think the first one was from the 1950s. So that puts it back about 70 plus years. Some of those shows are pretty old, but they're classics, and a lot of them are still playing in reruns today. But Thank you for compiling such a great quiz. Thank you everybody who's watching this quiz. Thank you to everybody who likes and comments and shares on these quizzes. That's what encourages YouTube to send it out to let more people see it to help grow this channel. It has been a record month for the channel and it's also been the month where I've posted the most viewer submitted quizzes. So I think... <laughs> I think there's something there. I think this is now, I, I've said it before, but this is now a full-blown group project. You guys are making this channel as popular or more popular than I could have done by myself. So thank you very much. Here is question 21 for the tiebreaker for classic comedic television. Tom Bosley and Marion Ross play the parents of teens Richie and Joni, who have an ideal life in the Midwest. Set in the 1950s and 1960s in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, what show followed the antics of the Cunningham family and their friend Arthur Fonzarelli? I think this show was mentioned in one of the earlier questions. This show's name is Happy Days. A classic with the Fawns. All right, that is it for today. Thank you again to everybody involved in watching and making these trivia quizzes. I love playing them as much as I like making them. So thank you, thank you, thank you. See you tomorrow for another new trivia quiz.